everyone, it's Paul here again talking on another ride home review. This week I, I uh, watched the, the Lego Batman movie um, uh, starring the voice talents of Will Arnett of course as, as Batman, Rosario Dawson, uh, Ray Fiennes and Michael Stira and Zach Galifianakis and directed by Chris McKay. Um, and basically it is what you expect it to be, uh, the, not, I don't know if they really count it as a sequel to the Lego movie in which, you know, the popular character of Batman it continues on, but, um, what I really liked about this movie was it pretty much, uh, took the same tone, the same feel of the Lego movie, and of course, uh, uh, having it Batman centric and that's that's where it stayed it stayed within the Lego universe and didn't go outside of the universe like the Lego movie did and um, it was clever storytelling a really really good uh, story um, from beginning to end um, it dragged a little in parts and I felt that hey, they just could have been a little more punchy and some of the jokes fell flat but for the most part if you saw the Lego movie uh, you're really going to enjoy this. It really picked up exactly where the Lego movie left off and you know the characters uh, I don't know what to say. I mean it was just an interesting mix and they delved deep into Batman's history in the comics and then added a few characters that you'll recognize like the Lego movie did just kind of randomly um, but a lot of a lot of great inside jokes. Uh, uh, what to, one of the things to one of the things I really enjoyed was the sound. The sound, the audio, uh, in this in the film is just absolutely incredible with their subtlety, <laughs> with the Lego snapping and stuff like that. I love that. Um, the animation is like the Lego Movie. It was just absolutely outstanding and. Um, like I said, other than other than the uh, the parts of the movie that dragged a little bit, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and if when and if you go see the movie, uh, just didn't have the snappiness the Lego Movie did um, in that in that sense. But for the most part, it's going to be enjoyable. You're really going to like it. Um, it's funny. Uh, Michael Cera is great as Robin. Um, they they just casted well um, for the voice actors. Uh, so I really there's really no disappointment in that there's no drop-off there but I highly recommend it it's a great fun movie and you're really gonna love it but and one thing to to watch for during the movie is the Batman uh, movie references uh, just littered throughout the film I thought it <laughs> I thought it was it was interesting catching those and it was just it was just a nice touch um, it, 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 because it basically included the, the Lego Batman movie in the the canon of the all the Batman movies that, that have been released. So um, this is a great movie. It's family friendly as as you'd expect. Some great some great aside, some great jokes, um, and just a overall good story. Zach Galifianakis makes a great Joker. Uh, didn't expect that. But, and I, I was kind of worried. I thought all the fun parts were going to be in the trailer, but that's, that's not the case here. There's some really, really good extra parts that um, really make this movie. So uh, I give, I, I really enjoy this movie. I highly recommend it. And it's, a, it's, a, it's another fun one from the Lego universe. So what did you think if you saw it? What did you think about it? What, what did you like? What did you not like? Um, and so on and uh, next week I will not be having a review um, I've just got too much on the plate can't make it to a movie next week but the following week I'll I'll, I'll be right back at it so uh, thanks for tuning in I uh, hope you enjoy the, the Lego Batman movie like I did and uh, yeah see you next time.